Could you talk about the issue of sextortion scams that rose at a significant rate during the lockdown period, just to raise awareness? It's commonly done by people from countries like India, the Philippines, Nigeria, etc. Victims tend to be mostly male, but occasionally females too. I know someone who was a victim of the scan and it left them depressed for months. Falling for this scam doesn't necessarily imply a lack of intelligence, but rather it happens due to loneliness slash need of human connection, especially during self-isolation and lockdowns. So I actually had to learn what sextortion was today because I wasn't familiar with this term. And it turns out that sextortion is, um, it seems like it can take a number of different forms, but one of the ways that it can happen is that people will be blackmailed for um, sexual content of themselves or um, they will take some form of sexual content from them and then blackmail them to get more out of them. Um, and uh, instead of like the, the price of the blackmail being money, it tends to actually be more sexual content from this person. So I was reading into this and it turns out that most of the victims of this during the pandemic have been mostly men, which I thought was very interesting. Um, and the article that I was reading was suggesting that <laughs> this felt like such a shot at men. They're like, maybe it's because men have lower standards <laughs> of like who they interact with for a sexual encounter um, or because of heightened loneliness that they felt during the pandemic or maybe more um, looking for more encounter or more sexual experimentation. They, they had a lot of theories, but there's no nothing really solid. Um, so yeah, I guess this type of scam usually happens because um, people build a, a relationship with someone who they think they know, and then this person gets a hold of some materials and uses it against them. So um, yeah, be careful about um, the kind of materials you send to people over the internet, guys. I think I think I, everybody should just release, release some news of themselves somewhere online, <laughs> just leak them. And this way, like nobody could, I was actually, I was seriously considering that, you know, you could, that, that way you could be in control of which news of you are on the internet. Um, so like those will always show up first. Like, so you could like pose very well, like you have like a good news. Didn't Vosh do that? He leaked his own nudes. Yes, yes, yes. I was actually That's considering right. doing that, right? Because if, if I could get the best news of myself trending, right, like somewhere, then if, <laughs> if some less, you know, some, some, you know, if some leak eventually get leaked that is like less, as, less good, you know, I'm not planning on sending it to anybody. I'm just like, just like, oopsies, like, oh my God, like what happened? I don't know. Right. So this way, whenever, if anybody search from, search from it, like at least one, like with a good pose shows up. Right. And also like good lighting. Like, good lighting also yeah. like also it's like yeah so i mean it's not usually that simple though it's not usually just like oh it's a nude i mean that's one form of it but it can be like coercing people into doing certain acts that would be particularly humiliating yeah i think like okay so this is like i know a lot of people are not going to relate to this right but if we could like normalize sexuality right to the point where nobody gives a crap so we're like oh if you're gonna really if you if you don't do this for me i'm gonna release these images people are like well let me i'm gonna release it myself <laughs> you know what i mean like these are so good i want everyone to see it you know what i mean like if we could get to a point where people are just so i know people have done that <laughs> yeah 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 i want i want people to just be so comfortable with their sexuality and everything that there's no shame and there's no guilt and there's no sex negativity where people are like is that a threat or is that like a <laughs> is that like a reward like i i, I look great go ahead and well i think that. the problem is like it's maybe funny to joke about but the problem of like it's different from you being like oh i'm gonna preemptively do this and then the problem of someone is threatening me with this. So because I, the only way that I can take control back into my own hands is to do it myself. Ultimately, that's still something that wouldn't have never occurred from your own volition. So that's still an extremely violating experience. So I can imagine yeah, yeah, why this person's friend was so depressed. That's so violating. I know I'm not, I'm not trying to dismiss how important, how, how that is. Right. But like that only works because we sick negative, like people, 
like this i'm not trying to victim blame right uh, i'm not trying to yeah, be like oh you should just be okay with this no this is horrible okay but it is horrible because pe people have been victimized twice uh, in that situation one because of them this level of control is being taken away from them but two is because we we are that mentality exists that there's something shameful about sexuality do you know what i mean um i'm not you know that i'm not saying people could fix that but i don't think people could just get change their mentality so they don't think like that and like that's not the expectation right uh but i'm just saying that i hope one day we get to a place where this can't even be a threat because people are like that's just my body what do it's, yeah <laughs> like yeah it was like so what <laughs> yeah oxymoron is saying sextortion thrives on modesty culture thank very you very good is, point actually you just said everything i was trying to say in a couple of paragraphs you just said it in like half a phrase so thank you so much that's that's the best way of describing what i was trying to say thank you thank you <laughs> atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight link in the description below